Hi everybody, this is Jen with One Stop Apothecary Shop doing a stock update video and I have a ton to show you guys. Stuff that I've stocked over the last two weeks in my shop. Before we get started, just wanted to mention that on my Facebook group, I have a group of lovely crafters and to reward you for being a group member, I have put an exclusive coupon code for 25% off uh, the greeting farm stamps and Simon says stamps and dies. That is good till next Tuesday. So if you're watching on YouTube, uh, feel free to click the link below to join my Facebook group for an exclusive coupon for 25% off this week. All right, let's get started guys. Um, the first thing I want to show you is I came across and I have listed this awesome Bow Bunny collection. It's called Time Piece. Time Piece, all one word. That's how you can search for it in the store. Comes with a lot of embellishments, a lot of fun papers, um, and this awesome sticker sheet here. Here's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. These, there's a really cool clock. I think that would make an awesome collage decor type piece. And then a bunch of 12 by 12s that you could see here. And this is kind of that vintagey, timeless type look that I am, I know I'm a huge fan of. Ooh, I like that one. That one has a really cool door. This one, sorry, just to show you guys a few of these. It always helps when you can see samples of the of the paper. This one's sealed, but this is basically just a smaller version of some of those. And then it comes with um, rub-ons. There's some more stickers here. I believe that's a window that's hiding behind that sticker. Uh, brads, trinkets, more rub-ons, and ribbon. So yeah, you get a lot of bang for your buck with that collection. And I'm going to set this aside here and get to our next piece. I have been busy doing lots of stamps and dies. Um, this one I have to show you guys is just hilarious. I actually found this at an estate sale. Someone handmade this. It is juices. Uh, that are packages that are stitched together. This is not like a manufactured item. I know this isn't really paper crafting, but hey, you could use it as a little tote bag for your paper crafting supplies if you wanted to. I just had to show this because it was something fun and what's the word, kind of kitschy, I think, that I put in my shop this week. All right, um, let's see here. We have more papers. Uh, the next few are from Stampin' Up. This is called Nordic Noel. And these are super pretty. It's got kind of this Christmassy village type theme. And I think in this lot you get more than the regular 12 sheets. I think this is two lots. This one does have just a little couple sample pieces cut out of it. Uh, let's flip them over. A bunch of different bunch of different designs with this one. So that one is called Nordic Noel. Let me put the clip on there so I don't lose all my sheets. Okay, this one's really pretty. This one is called Toil, let's see, Toil Tidings. That's what this one is. And it's got some really nice vintage type prints on here too. There's some stripes. Ooh, that one's pretty. So that gives you guys a little bit closer look of what's in here. This one is not open, so I can't show you the rest, but this one is called Pop Fizz, I believe. Oh, Bubbles and Fizz. This one's really cute. I have this in my personal stash, and it has a matching stamp set too. I don't think I have the stamp set in stock right now, but, um, but these are fabulous. If anyone has a scan and cut too, you can send these type of pages through the scan and cut and the machine will cut out all these little bottles for you. I know because I've tried. Those scan and cuts are a lot of fun. All right, here is a stamp and die set I want to show you from Elizabeth Crafts. This one is called Winter Bears. And I thought this one was really, really cute and it comes with the matching dies as well. So yeah, I've been super busy because my daughter, 
Here's one from Northwoods that's really pretty. My daughter is now doing online school, so she is my photographer. So I'm able to list more items with her as my photographer than I would on my own. So I've been really busy getting all these coming and going. So yeah, this is a nice cling mount stamp from Northwoods. Here's one from Sweet and Sassy. I believe this one is photopolymer. It definitely feels like it's really good quality. And this one measures six by six. Here's a couple from Stamperia. I'm selling in a lot. These are New York City and the Traveler News. And these are a nice, um, bigger size. I think, believe they're both five by seven. And they're cling mount with those two. A few things from Elizabeth Craft Designs. This one is under, let's see, Planner Pocket 3. And what's nice is also in the listing, I have um, the photos showing of kind of what these look like when they're cut out, which I feel like is helpful because when you look at the front, sometimes you can't tell what those images are gonna be. So yeah, awesome for plan any planner fans out there. Also some Elizabeth Craft Stamps craft stamp sets. Um, let's see, this one is called, these two are in a lot together. This one is called Tickets, and this one is called Sidekick Stamps 2. These are decent size. The smaller one is 4x6, the large one is 6x8. Okay, this is the same kick, same sidekick stamps too. And this one is called Journal Dates and Months. Also six by eight and four by six. I'm liking that Elizabeth Craft Company for planner supplies for sure. All right, now we have Simon's Stamp. These ones are 25% off to my uh, Facebook group. So if you're not on there, feel free to join it. This one is called Cozy Wishes. And those are, these are six by eight. And this one's called Happy Mail. This would be super fun, especially for Valentine's Day, which will be here before we know it. And those are all photopolymer. I came across a big lot of these before moving to Tennessee out in the Portland area. These are by Santoro. And these are a group of stamps. They're called Gorgeous Girls. Let me zoom in. These are super pretty. Um, so this comes with the washi tape, which is adorable. And I'm selling all these in different lots. And there's, there's, I think I have another lot on my store, and then I have a few more to put up. But yeah, these are really cute uh, cling mount type doll, little girl looking stamps. This one's really pretty. This one has like a carousel type horse on it. All right. There is those. Oop, throwing stuff around here. Sorry for the noise off camera. Stamps flying everywhere. All right, here's a die set, my memory box. Uh, medium snow globe. And this one is plush frosty mitten. This is to make uh, felt, little, little felt decor. Now this one is, here's the size Here's my hand. These are pretty good size. Um, this one I put in the listing. It is missing the snowflake. But uh, it's definitely got the rest of them in there. So that is a lot bigger than I was expecting. And the measurements for the snow glove, too, are located on mine. For your viewing pleasure. I try to do measurements when I can. All right, here is next stop. Sorry for the noise again. I try to have these all prepped and ready to go, but this time I had so much to show you guys. I didn't prep them all. Um, this is by Photoplay, and these are called Tula and Norbert's Christmas Party Gnomes. So if you just look up Photoplay and Gnomes, you will find these ones. These are photopolymer. They're four by six, and they come with the matching die gnomes. Okay, Doodlebug. This one I could not find on eBay. I think this might be the only one, so it's a little bit more rare. Doodlebug is this company. They create 
cutesy cutesy images and kind of cartoony as you can see but yeah i love love the snow globe in this one and the cute little snowman these say they're photopolymer um they feel like they're a little cross between maybe a photopolymer and acrylic just so you guys are aware but those are four by six this one's super fun this is called joy peace and comfort mug um this I thought was really cute for Christmas. These are cling mount stamps. The set is brand new. Um, you get a pretty decent sized cup, cup there with this one. And then these you can fill in the label. Okay. Came across a bunch of Technique Tuesday stamps and dies. This set here is a floral set. Kind of like botanical florals. And each one has their matching die so you can kind of see kind of see what all these look like and these are all uh four by three i believe and these ones i know for a fact are acrylic technique tuesday makes acrylic sense they're also famous for a lot of their planner stamps i think i have some in my shop so okay here's a good christmas set this one is by just right it's a huge cardinal background stamp and this one is Heartfelt Creations. And this one is a P Cardinal Pine Bow. But they are both cling mount stamps. These would be, the details on these would be beautiful stamped and embossed. Okay, shifting gears a little bit. Here's some Lawn Fawn paper packs. Lawn Fawn makes a lot of cutesy, uh, cartoony type animals. And these are some matching paper packs. So we have plaids, knock on wood. This one is not full, by the way. Here's a rainbow one. I thought this one had a lot of cute, bright. This would be an awesome set. Oh, I like that one. This would be an awesome set for a birthday. A lot of birthday cards. You can see that one. Here's speckles. This one looks like someone took a paintbrush and just splattered on some speckles. Petite plaids. So very pretty. These would make good like Father's Day or guy cards with those ones. All right, we're still going. This video is a little bit longer today because I have been busy. Off Antique, six by six paper packs. I love, love, love this company. Now these ones are all missing their back covers. These are not full paper pads, but you still get a lot of really cool Vintage you like I like that one. Wait, where did that one go? Vintage you type images with this one. I love this company. It's one of my favorites. This one is called Cheerful. You can see this one's really cute. Here's that one. Kind of like a nice summery oh, basket weave. Summery type paper pack. And this one is genuine. So as you can see, they're not full, but you still get a bunch of really nice images. This one's a little bit on the grungy side, which is kind of fun. <clears throat> All right. So you guys, these, I do carry embellishments in my store sometimes. And this is a lot I just put up this week. Embellishments and stickers are always kind of fun to list. This one is by Recollections. And I think if you search um, Recollections and Embellishments, these ones will pop up. Here's like a bling on a roll. This is like pearls. And then we have some gems. And these are adhesive, I believe. I'm just giving you guys a closer look at some of these. Here's some more gems. Those are pretty. And we have, let me see. Now that I live in Tennessee, this one's kind of fun. Cowboy boots, glitter shapes, some travel, 4th of July, more travel. And here are some puppy paws. Those ones are Brad's. Little bones in there, too. These are super cute. Yeah, it's fun. It's always fun when I get a big lot of stickers and embellishments and I'll go to the kitchen table and I'll just sort through them and organize them. I have OCD. 
So I love organizing things. It's a lot of fun for me. Okay, I listed a ton of Lawn Fawn this week. This one is a die cut called Lovely Latte. Another die set, Art Supplies. Another die set, Stitch Snowflakes. Very detailed, those ones are beautiful. And a, some stamp sets. I'm gonna continue to keep listing Lawn Fawn, so keep checking my store if you like Lawn Fawn. This one is Mice on Ice and Penguin Party. Those back together. Um, some of them have matching dies. Those two didn't, but um, this one does. So be on the lookout. I do have some stamps with die sets in there too. And I do have a Lawn Fawn category in my store. Feel free to check that out. Okay. I have been listing a lot of these craft emotions. These are fun. They feel like they're a strong, good quality photopolymer. I believe they're from another country, so you can't get them in the U.S. Uh, my, in my store, I have quite a few of them. And these are super cartoony. Um, here's like a hammerhead shark, so they're punny. Like you nailed it. That one says, jaw ready for this. Oh, that's cute. I really love you. I saw that. So yeah, feel free to check out. I have a lot of different characters with the cute little puns of those brands. Okay, your next stamp. This one, also good quality photopolymer, is called Meowy Christmas. Any of you cat lovers out there, that would be a winner. And this one has the matching dies. I put a bunch of embossing folders up. Let me see if you can see these. Here is a lot of birthday card embossing folders. Here's one, let's see. These are basically A2 size. So here's a lot of birthday ones from a bunch of different companies. I'm a big embossing folder fan because they have a really good price point and they can do a lot to add to your cards. This, I should show you guys, I've been creating Christmas cards. I'm show you guys some of my work here. I don't have this embossing folder in stock, but embossing folders are awesome. I use this one in my personal stash to embellish this one. And I feel like it would have been pretty just without the embossing folder, but it really adds the wow factor when you add that texture on there. So yeah, these are some personal Christmas cards I'm sending out this year. Oop, knocking stuff over. Okay, another lot of embossing folders I put up was a music one that I thought was kind of fun to show you guys. This one's by Tailored Expressions. That one's a little bit bigger than an A2. Here's some music notes and some records. I remember these from when I was a kid. Super fun. Okay, Love of Leaves is next. This is a really pretty Stampin' Up! set. And this one does come with the matching dies. It has a bit of staining, but of course that never impacts the images. This one I have in my personal stash because I love it so much. This one's called Painted Poppies. I might have shown this on here. I've sold this one a few times. Um, they also have hard stock for this that is beautiful. This one doesn't come with the poppy dies, it comes with the painted label dies, which look like that. But I believe there is another set out there of dies for the painted poppies. Okay, we are getting there. Got a few more things to show you. I did some hero art sets this week. This one, let me see the name of this one. This one is called Vintage Christmas Wishes, if you like that one. I think that one's really pretty. And then this next one is called Snowy Tree. And let's see, here's the stamp set. And this one comes with the matching dies. So those are up this week. And I continue to list a bunch of Penny Black stamps. This is so cute. This one is a little boy called Fly Away. These are all wood, so they give great details when you stamp the images. Frog farming. There are a lot of collectors out there. These do move for me. Some of them move that same day. This one is a cute bear who's got some honey. 
Her name is Sweet Honey. There's a couple little girls. One of these is called Opening Night, and the other one is Reach for the Stars. I was a dancer in my youth, so I thought those ones were really cute. All right. And then, of course, we have some animals. These are some bears. These ones are adorable, very cutesy, cartoony. This one is Cupcake Glory. And this one, it was in French. So instead of writing French, I just put Bear With Balloons, I think. And last but not least, this one was hiding in the back of my bin. This is a stamp kit by Simon Says Stamp. And this one is called Winter Wishes. So this one comes with the four by six stamp set. Oop, let me zoom out, I'm too close. Four by six stamp set. That's really pretty. And it comes with some, these are look like postage stamps, but they're stickers. And then it comes with a few six by six papers. I'll show you guys here. These are really pretty and I love these colors together. I think it's a good color, color choice. And then this little inspiration kit that shows you what you can make. And then it comes with a few colors of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Let me see. I got this last one hanging here. I think it's the same. Oh, it's a little bit lighter gray. All right. So yeah, that'll do it for today. Remember on my Facebook group, um, you can get that coupon code uh, for 25% off all greeting form and Simon's the stamp. And I hope everyone is having a great holiday season. Uh, bless you all. Um, feeling very, very blessed here this year for sure and having all you guys as customers. Take care, everyone. Bye.